In Magic the Gathering, every character we encounter is defined by a color, or set of colors, which dictate their personality and philosophy. So imagine for a moment you were transported into the multiverse of magic. What colors would you be? It can be difficult to answer this question objectively, but this is where my favorite color pie quiz comes in handy. It uses word association to place you into a set of colors that suit you from that objective standpoint. I love taking this every year because it helps me learn a little bit more about myself and how I've changed. And hell, if you've never done this before and it's your first time, you might learn a lot about yourself by taking this quiz. All right, friends, let's begin. We will use the power of time travel to speed up this process because I don't want to make you sit through the whole thing. But along the way, I'll want to express some of my thoughts and try and spark up a bit of conversation. So I've done this quiz before. Usually I'll do it once a year, which I think you should do as well as all it takes is one major event to shift our outlook on life. And by tracking this potential shift or stagnation either way, we can learn a bit more about ourselves. And don't worry, if your colors don't shift over time, that also tells you something about yourself. Because sometimes we are very rooted in our beliefs and our outlooks, and those are hard to change. But sometimes you will notice those subtle differences, so it's worth tracking. When we get to the end, you'll notice that you will indeed be all five colors, but with specific ones taking over the distribution of the pie. So let's say two or three colors that are dominant out of that five. This is because humans are not so narrow like that of fictional characters. So while a pair may define us, we do indeed contain all of the colors of the color pie. If you want to take this test, which I urge you to do, don't worry, I'll have a link for it in the description. So be sure to take this quiz and let us know what colors you got in the comments and give us some thoughts as to the result. Honestly, I find it interesting how much I can continue to talk about the color pie. We're coming on three years now and I still am not bored of it. And I'm glad you stuck with me for this long as well. So I'm curious, what is it about the color pie that draws you in? Another great way for this to work too is to get your friends or your partner to take this quiz as well as yourself and then see what sort of colors you are and what colors you attract. And sometimes we can find patterns in that as well. And that will also teach us some more about ourselves. It's really a practice of introspection when we try and define things with the color pie. And perhaps that's what makes it so special to me. Now that we've finished answering all of the questions, we can now calculate the result to see what we get. In my case, I am a mono blue planeswalker. So like I said, there is all five colors, but we can see a heavy distribution on blue, so much so that it placed me into mono blue. But like I said, all these other colors still exist, with green coming in a close second. That pretty much lines up. Last year I got Simic, seems I'm leaning more and more into blue each year, and before that it was banned, so it's interesting to see. But this is nice because it comes with a little description, so let's read it. A blue planeswalker, when presented with a decision or quandary, asks what course of action makes the most sense, where sense is determined by careful thought and the application of knowledge and expertise. Blue believes that each and every one of us is born a blank slate, with the potential to become anything. The entire point of life is figuring out what you could achieve with the right education, experience, and tools. Note that this is not a task with an end goal, but one that continues throughout your life. There will always be things you can do to improve, change, or adapt. The journey of life is one of constant discovery as you keep seeking to better yourself. Much as Blue wishes to perfect itself, it also wants to perfect the world it lives in. Part of this is to ensure that Blue has access to the resources it needs, but part of this is the belief that an element of reaching one's potential is living within a world that has reached its own potential. As such, Blue is the color most interested in technology and wants the latest and greatest versions of whatever it is using. 
I like this analysis a lot. It, it can be hard sometimes to put a color or combination of colors philosophy into one small you know, set of paragraphs, but I think they did a great job with this. And the best part about these quizzes is they all link to one of my own videos on the subject. So once you do this quiz, you can go through, read the read up, analyze your color distribution, and then go watch my video on the topic and see if it further resonates with you. So I want you to do just that and tell me what you got because I'm curious as always to see what sort of colors are represented within this community. I have a feeling with the topic being on discovering oneself and talking about character world building and the color pie and all those topics that I bring forth in my video, I have a feeling that blue will be high within the comments down below, but who knows, there could be plenty of colors uh, given representation. So let me know what you got after you're done watching this video. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and you got something out of it for yourself by using this color pie quiz. Like I said, it's all about the conversation and that's the part that makes me so excited and interested, especially when it comes to how it is reflected in the community that we're building up around such ideas. So if you enjoyed this video and you want to learn more about the color pie, then check out this one right here. And with that, I'll catch you in the multiverse. Bye.